Hey guys, uh, well if you watched my last video from yesterday or this morning, I told you guys when it rains it floods and it did flood. Got in not all of my packages but <laughs> most of them. I think it's still waiting on my eBay pack, one eBay package and the three Amazon packages. <laughs> it's crazy. So what came in today? Godzilla Generations Maximum Impact. The Japanese version. If you guys know anything about me, you know I'm a huge Godzilla fan. I've talked about it before. Then you know my grandfather got me into Godzilla and I would love to have as much of the Godzilla games I can find a lot of them are worth a lot of money This game technically is not the greatest game. Uh, I think it rivals that of the PS3, PS4 Godzilla game. But it's Godzilla. So the idea is basically you play as one of the monsters and destroy the city. In the original Godzilla Generations game, you only could play as Godzilla. Uh, Mecha Godzilla and somebody else, but you can unlock a few other characters. In this game, you can actually Play as Bailanta, King Ghidorah, both versions of Mothra. Military graded weapons. Space Godzilla, Destroyer. The crawling destroyer and the regular destroyer and I think you can actually unlock more characters than that uh, I definitely won't would love to get the PS4 PS5 game the Japanese version Godzilla vs from what I hear, it has more characters. Same game as the American, just more characters. Uh, I would love to find some of the older Godzilla games. Uh, Godzilla Save the Earth, Destroy All Monsters. I've seen some of the games but they're 
like the PS4 game, they're expensive, a little over two hundred dollars. So it's crazy. I got in another Masters first character, Jitsu. He is the rival to Fisto. He looks crazy. Comes with a red or an orange sword, a mask, and an extra hat. I love his samurai armor, samurai face mask. He is a, was a samurai with an extra large hand and Skeletor cast a spell and put his hand into a gold gauntlet that never closes, I believe. But the original toy Fistle, you could put on his fist and the fist would come up. With uh, Jitsu, you could pull up the hand and the fist would come down, or the chop would come down as a uh, chop. Uh, unfortunately, it can't, it, the bo it didn't come in a box, they put it in a bag and it got a little rip and dented from white bean on it. But it's it's alright, I'm fine with it. Once everything is up and running, I'm gonna be taking these guys out of the boxes. So on the back you have a Battle Armor He-Man, Sun Man, Hero and Jitsu. 30 points of articulation like all the Master Verse characters. He is part of the new Eternia line, not the Revelations. He looks pretty insane though. Everybody needs a samurai. So those two came uh, from eBay. Got to order them online. And then my Hasbro Pulse came in. Surprise, surprise. So Hasbro Post was supposed to be today, so they came in on time. The Dreamcast Godzilla Generations was supposed to be on Friday, so it was really early. Jitsu was supposed to be uh, Thursday. So that was a couple of days early. Like I said, guys, it, it's a flood. <laughs> All right. So, as you guys know, I'm collecting certain characters in the Star Wars Black series. I'm trying to create a, well, two series. One is literally these Siths, trying to get as many Siths as I can, or people who are aligned with Siths with lightsabers. And the other is trying to do 
the book of Boba Wolf Fett as Boba Fett is the leader, but they have like a bunch of characters, friends and allies and bounty hunters creating a group of mercenaries, I guess, or, well, they all work for him by guiding this guy, Migs Mayfield from the uh, Mandalorian. There is two versions of this guy. This character, who just came out, was the one that helped, or was the one that was with Mondo uh, in the first couple of episodes where they were trying to take over the ship. So he comes with one, two, three, four. Four different blasters and a backpack that comes up with a fifth blaster. The other version is the version with the uh, green armor on him for the stormtroopers. I'm guessing the jungle stormtroopers. That was that scene was actually filmed here in Hawaii, which, well, that scenario, it's pretty awesome, but I, I wanted this character, because this fits more with a group of mercenaries. And then, the man himself, the Grand Inquisitor from uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I love the artworks on the side. Same artwork in the back, just up close. The face scope on this is insane. He comes with the do lightsabers, which if you remember in the show, he could hold the handle and the lightsaber itself could spin. Take a look at this face scope. That's insane. And then of course his lines comes fully armored. So as far as the Inquisitors go, they were literally the Jedi or the Sith's version of assassins who hunted Jedis. With this character I now have the Grand Inquisitor, uh, the second sister, the third sister, the fifth brother. I need the fourth sister and six and seven, I believe, to have the entire group. But ugh, there is so much great, great. Sith Lords out there, I, I I can't wait to see what they come up with with uh, the Black Series, who they create. I am seriously hoping for Darth Talon somewhere down the line. Definitely Darth Bane, he needs to be there. I honestly can't choose. So we end the night and this video with the Clone Wars Darth Maul. Look 
get that. That is insane. The uh, top here is kind of screwed. But again, it's alright. Look at that face sculpt. That's literally insane. So I now have two Darth Mauls. This one and the uh, special box version of him where he doesn't have his shirt. He comes with the two lightsabers which actually can connect. And truthfully I've never really sat down and noticed but the two sides are completely different. So that is Insane that they put that detail in this character. There are definitely more characters coming and more characters I need to get into and buy. I honestly, uh, I'm waiting to get my W2s to actually, you know, put in my tax and hopefully I get a pretty good return this year. I don't know because they changed a lot of things. Uh, I know before Trump I was making anywhere from 800 to a, a thousand back on my tax returns. During Trump I went down to five, six hundred. Uh, I'm not sure what how I'm going to get with Biden. But if I get a pretty good amount back, I already have something I'm going to buy. And that is my very first lightsaber. So I'm pretty excited and I'm hoping for the best. I mean, I'm honestly pretty excited with these because at least they're not Funko Pops. Truthfully, I would love the Grand Inquisitor Funko. It looks pretty awesome. <laughs> I, I need a Darth Maul Funko. But With the different collections that I'm collecting, I'm I'm doing pretty good. I'm getting it done. I think, like I, I said in my last video, the Masterverse. I need movie Skeletor. I need Roboto, I need Stratos, there's a few characters I would love to get when they bring them out, if they bring them out. I definitely still need to get Battle Cat. I would love for Panthor to come out. There is a whole... mess of Transformers Masterverses figures that 
or Transformers Masterpiece figures I want to collect. Uh, Solo Chogokin. There's honestly not that many figures I want to collect. I think the biggest collection when everything is said and done will be the G.I. Joe Classifieds. Uh, like I said with Thundercats possibly three to five more figures. Uh, Silverhawks if they ever come out Possibly four to six figures. Gargos, possibly four figures left. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, I only want Avenger. Glad I got uh, Dungeon Master. The only other thing I want from Dungeons and Dragons is Tiamat. So one thing I've learned as a collector is never say never. We can keep saying this is all we're going to collect, but something else comes up and you want to collect that. <laughs> I keep telling my friends who aren't into Funkos to not collect Funkos because once you do you won't stop one is never enough especially when you realize you paid this much and it went up in price So this morning I got to work and usually we sell like baseball cards, football cards, basketball cards, Pokemon cards uh, and we, we usually have anywhere from four to seven people waiting at the door for us to open just so they can come in and try and buy cards and this morning two of them were talking and you know they were tr talking and oh I'll give you this if you give me this and this went up in price and, and I sat there and I listened to them and it's it just sounded like my, me and my friend talking about Funkos. And I sat there and I'm like, this must be the conversations all of us actually have, fellow collectors, different items. You know, cards, toys, dolls, because I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and tell you there were times I, I thought of trying to buy Barbie, not to play, not to display. 
but some of these dolls are worth as much as some of the Funkos. Like you can buy them for twenty five bucks and they go up in price. It's insane. Uh, you know, Monster High dolls are, are the new big thing instead of Barbie, but they're still Barbie collectors. Hot Wheels, I don't think the prices go up that much for Hot Wheels, but I mean, they do go up, and there are a bunch of people that collect Hot Wheels, and I mean, we all collected comics, or most of us, for at some time. I, I realize that no matter what you collect, If you're a collector, you know what the other collectors are feeling and going through. All collectors are pretty much the same no matter what they collect. And it feels a... It feels good. It feels like a, co a community, but then we have the guys who are buying them to uh, scalp them and raise the prices, which sucks. But, you know, it's crazy. But you don't really feel, a, once you realize that like card collectors are exactly like toy collectors and comic book collectors and no matter what you're collecting that we're all literally the same and sound the same. If it, it feels like we're not alone. It feels good that there's other people out there that go through the same stuff as we do. I don't think we sit down and realize not only that, but what other people go through in a daily basis and in their own lives. That's why I've always tried to push understanding, push love, push the idea that you're going through your own stuff. There's people around that's going through the same thing you are. Talk. You know, make friends, enjoy life. Understand that other people are doing the same thing. It's the whole... Uh, idea that not only are we humans, not only are we men and women, we're all one. It doesn't matter if we speak a different language, what color our skin is, how smart or unsmart we are. We are literally all the same, no matter where you live. And 
collectors are all the same. No matter where you live. Just something to think about, guys. Anyway, hope you like the figures. Thank you for watching. Uh, not sure what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. I definitely hope in a couple of days to go down to uh, 808 Collectibles again. Film us a few stuff. Toy hunt. There's things I want. <laughs> and they're all in separate stores. But, I mean, it's. That's all Funkos. Uh, there is a lot of figures I want. Unfortunately, as I've. If you've been watching my videos, you completely understand, or should be by now, that Hawaii is not the greatest place on the planet to be. And I think Alaska is just as bad when it comes to collecting stuff. A lot of us uh, ship things in. If you look at our Walmart compared to the mainland Walmart, <laughs> it's totally different. Totally different vibe. Totally different what's on the sales floor. Thankfully, we still have t uh, Target. And they're, they're doing an okay job. As you saw yesterday with what I picked up. But it's getting late. Gotta be up early. So have a nice night. Have a nice weekend. Uh, if I don't do a video on Sunday, I apologize. Things came up. Hopefully we'll do a video next Sunday. There are a few, a few stores I'm trying to visit. Until then, be safe, keep collecting, and I know the bigger stores have things that you might want, but try to uh, try and go to the smaller stores. You might be surprised. Sometimes the mom and pop stores may have a grill item. I've been watching a lot of toy hunting videos and most of these grill items are in the smaller stores because nobody goes to them. So you never know what you'll find. Take it from me. Have a good night guys. See you later.